everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm going to be making wicks today with this set of locks and we're going to shoot for the number 10 I'm going to lean my chair back so my client can take a nap so this is how I section I just kind of map it out depending on where the locks are already placed and I choose the best sections from there. He has an undercut on the bottom and sides so all of the hair available is what you see right here. Um, I'll be sectioning into 10 sections so I typically start in the front and move my way towards the back. And this is what the sections look like. Now I'm going through and cleaning up the parting. This is how I get the line so straight. I just take a section, a small section with a comb and grab a few hairs at a time and then I just pull them apart. Um, very important that you do not pull on the scalp. You pull the part that's coming from inside of the lock, if that makes sense. Just watch closely what I'm doing. Well, this is my, what I use to distress the locks. I have taped two wooden crochet hooks together. One has two prongs, the other one has three. And I've been using this pretty much since the beginning of my learning how to do wigs. Um, I probably should make another one soon, but I go down each set of locks and just group them together and pull those hairs out so they'll stick out and be frizzy. Um, the more hair the better. I do go over this a lot more in another video that I have so if I find it I'll post it in the description.
Here I am using my 0.6 millimeter crochet hook to bring it all together. I'll go over it a few times just to make sure it is seamless. One more thing, um, when you're working with shorter wicks, if they do not want them to stick straight up, there's a way to make them lay down. So you see the area I'm pointing at, it starts right there at the base. You want to make sure that you slightly bend the base in the direction that they want it to lay. And that will make it more flexible. Um, you don't have to do it to be stiff but just make sure that you slightly bend it in the direction that they want it to go. And you can still work on the underside and make sure that it's all connected, you know. Just don't do it where it's sticking straight up without that bend in the middle. Just make sure to check it every now and then as you go to make sure it falls correctly. Here you can see I'm going over it again one more time with my distressing tool just to make sure it's seamless. I'll be going over it again with my 0.6 millimeter crochet hook as well to close it all up.
Subscribe to my channel for more videos.